Although next door to each other in East Africa, Kenya and Ethiopia have often acted more like strangers than neighbors. But as coffee-fueled and youth-powered Ethiopia opens up to investment and as tech-savvy Kenya transforms into an internet economy, well, these countries increasingly will operate as one market. One huge market. Today, Ethiopia is a country of 110 million people, second in population only to Nigeria and Africa. And many of those folks are starting to move out of their villages and travel to towns and cities. In fact, a friend of mine who's in Ethiopia wants to build buses, small buses, to cater to this demand because donkeys only take you so far. Seriously, folks, donkeys are Ethiopia's village pickup trucks. I've seen them working hard all over that country, from villages to cities. Ethiopian society is fast changing, and today Ethiopians are far more likely to be educated, healthy, and free of poverty than they were a generation ago. Kenya, with over 50 million people, already well connected by roads and high-speed internet, and ready to boom after COVID, the International Monetary Fund predicts Kenya will be Africa's fastest growing economy coming out of the pandemic. Put Kenya and Ethiopia together, and you have a population about half the size of the United States, linked the Indian Ocean economy that will drive commerce in the 21st century. Now in 30 years, according to United Nations estimates, Ethiopia will reach 200 million people, making it one of the world's 10 most populous countries. And investors are betting a more prosperous country. With a huge labor market in one country and a surging tech economy in the other, we have the makings of a truly dynamic mega market. Kenya's economy will bounce back from the pandemic slump thanks to bigger demand for its farm products and the demise of those locusts that gobbled up cropland in East Africa while the COVID plague trampled on tourism. One key advantage that Americans can bank on is that Kenya and Ethiopia are both friendly to America. There's a large Ethiopian immigrant community in America from Washington to Seattle, and these folks feed capital and innovation into the motherland. Kenya looks to America for technology, money, and business inspiration, while, of course, sharing an historic bond. America sells about $1 billion in goods every year to Ethiopia, yet only around one-third of that amount to Kenya. In fact, in an average month, the U.S. sells as much to South Africa as it does to Kenya in an entire year. So the potential to expand trade with this mega market of Kenya and Ethiopia is truly sky high. While a Kenya-US free trade deal is possible, the biggest American support for Kenya may be the $500 million that the new US International Development Finance Corporation says it will lend to support Safaricom's plan to expand into Ethiopia. Now, Kenya's biggest telecom operator wants one of these two licenses Ethiopia is offering to bidders to open up its phone and internet market, which is currently dominated by Ethio Telecom, a government company. Now, a digital wave swept across Kenya as the COVID crisis emerged. Adoption of tech by Kenyan firms climbed in manufacturing and healthcare and among small firms, according to the World Bank. Kenya's digital money, led by M-Pesa, absolutely exploded during the pandemic year, with Kenyans opening 8 million new mobile money accounts in 2020 and the monthly value of transactions rising almost 60%. And that mobile money was paying for a lot of takeaway food and online shopping on platforms like Glovo and Jumia, keeping delivery motorbikes busy across Nairobi. Ethiopia is going through a period of political turbulence and even outright conflict. And the country does need to address these political and ethnic tensions through dialogue and through reconciliation. It's essential for the country to move forward. Yet I'm still bullish about this mega market that would involve Ethiopia and Kenya because from my years living in Ethiopia, I know how much Ethiopians want to join that global economy and make a bigger splash as a country. Uh, 
alafu kutoka Moyale mpaka hadi Stella tulikuwa tunatumia kama wiki nzima. With major financing from the African Development Bank, this new route is a game changer for Kenya and Ethiopia and along with other investments, it's the start of a great journey.